All right, let's go ahead. <laughs> Not surprising to me at all. Yeah. Alrighty. So the main basic things that you need to do to actually get this started is, of course, you need accounts and whichever streaming platform that you want to stream to, Glimish, Trovo, Twitch, YouTube, whatever. And you also need to download and install Mix It Up. Now I'm not going to show you how to go ahead and do that. That's, there's so many out there. You do need a Mix It Up bot, which is free to use. Actually, I don't want to full screen it. Okay. Now, the one thing you want to do is go after installing Mix it up, but is to click on these three, the hamburger mini, the three lines that are laying on top of each other. You want to go into commands, set it up, click on the hamburger menu, go to commands. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up where we're going to make mix it up, look for a file and play that whatever is in that text file. So I already have one set up here. Yeah, of course it's, it's a fart command because everybody has to have a fart command. And what you want to do is click on the, it looks like a little speech bubble with a pencil in it. Or actually, let's start from the beginning. I'm going to do a new command. There's the fart. And I've noticed that this one is getting picked a lot. I got two, four, five, six, seven different ones. Actually, that's not the long one. That's a semi long one. Yeah, that's more than a fart. You got to check yourself now. Definitely got to check your underwear after that one. All right, so what we got to do is we let's give it a name. This one is going to be but it's French. And of course your chat trigger is whatever set of text that you want it to be whenever somebody is going to fire it off. So let's go ahead and set this up as F A E R T. Now down here in action, go ahead, click on that. And we're looking for file read, write, because we want to mix it up to look for a file, run it, and then play the sound. It's a two part command here. So go ahead, click on file, read and write, click on the plus sign to add it into the command. So the action that we want is going to read a random line from file because it's within a text file. You have your different links. I'll show you here in just a second that we want mix it up to look to pick a random line from this file. So what you want to do is get this set up and I should have done this first to tell you this is what you want to do first is set, download your sound files, set them up in a folder, wherever you want to put them that you're going to remember where they are. So I, right now I have them in a sound effects folder underneath the farts folder. And I can add to this as many fart sounds as I want, but that there's no limit. What you want to do is then open up a notepad because it'd be the easiest thing to do is open up notepad and for each of these sound files, go ahead, right click on it. Yeah. Right click on it. Copy as path. I don't know why it didn't show up the first time there. So if you click on copy as path, you go into your notepad that you want to title as say farts and just paste it into the notepad. The important thing here is you want to do is get rid of your quotation marks on the front end of this actual link. So as you see here, I have a whole bunch already set up, ready to go. So I just copy and paste the file path of your sound files into a notepad, save your notepad file as farts. So when you go back into mix it up, you want to go browse to that particular notepad file that you have. So for me, that is my path to the notepad. Now, another thing you want to add into it is under here where it says a special identifier name. We want to go ahead and put random sound, one word. Now, like I said before, this is a two part. So what we want to do is actually we're calling up the file for mix up the read and pull from that random line. But we also want to mix it up to play that sound file. So click on action and we want to add in sound. Click the plus sign. And for this one, since we're calling from the previous action, all we have to do is type in money sign, random sound. 
again, all one word. Your audio device. This is if you're if you only have one PC or anything like that. This would be this is your default output. Or if your speakers or anything like that. Since I'm running a two PC, I have a Beacon Mix Create, so I have the capability I can set different places that I want this to go to. So I'll have it set for my system audio. Where is it? System. And you can change also the volume. If you want 100% or have it like 50%, it's totally up to you. And then that's pretty much it. Now, remember, I do have a cooldown on mine. So you, if you don't put a cooldown or any kind of restrictions, any time that somebody, somebody puts in exclamation point fart, it's going to fire off and it's going to keep firing off. It's just going to build up and it's just, believe me, it's going to become chaos. So what you want to do is actually put in a cooldown, click on the stopwatch up here at the top where it says usage requirements in the upper right. And it's going to be a second. So I have it for two minutes, which is 120 minutes or 120 seconds. And then you can test it out by clicking the play icon here on the bottom or once you're done with it click on save and automatically save it i'm not going to save it because i already have that command set up and ready to go so go ahead and close that out so in chat depending on whichever platform that you're on just type in exclamation point fart and it's going to pull it should pull a random fart sound see there we go and now there's a two there's a cooldown so it's not going to automatically play it because i had a cooldown so if i turn off that cooldown let's go ahead and do that real quick so if you go ahead and fart it up so you see it's going to play it one after another so let me go ahead put that cooldown back in yeah you had your fun there we go <laughs> i'm not going to ban you don't worry hey it was all part is part of science so that's pretty much it now is to put in random sounds within your mix it up bot. as long as you have the links yeah you're demonstrating that's right like i said it's science it's for science so as long as you have the links to each of your sound files sound effects files within your notepad you can add if I want to go ahead. Now, if you can also do, I have another one here. Wow. I have a wow, Owen Wilson wow. So every single time I have, if someone types in wow, also again, I have a cooldown on that as well. So it's gonna play a random wow, Owen Wilson wow. Let me go ahead, yeah, Owen Wilson, I have it set up. So this one, I only have five and it's set up the same way as the farts one and you can title these and you make whatever sound effects that you want it's completely up to you it's totally customizable there's no wrong way to do it the only way to do it is like i just shown you here is through the notepad with your file path make sure you remove the quotation marks at the beginning and end of each link or i should say each line and that's pretty much 